Well, I don't know if anybody else quite noticed this, but I got more people hating me than loving me. <laughs> and it's like, why? Why would there be this many people hating me? And I've even heard that there's websites about me with all of this hate. People are taking my videos and editing them to make them look like something they're not. I've heard people starting channels and uploading all my videos so they can all discuss what it is that I'm saying openly because there's just no conversation on my channel. Like, it's just cunt or bitch. You know, just a nothing but hate gets posted on my channel, so I have to block and delete. So they've taken their... I wonder how that conversation's going out. I wonder if any of that's actually true. Um, haven't really seen any websites, not that I'd even look at it if somebody gave me a link, but I am hearing that it's out there. The question is, is why is there so much hate out there? Now, from what I've realized is everything we believe to be true happens to be wrong. <laughs> So if somebody points that out, if somebody says, hey, you know what, you're completely dead wrong in what you believe in, um, they're not going to take it too well. <laughs> but how else are you going to let anybody know what you're doing is a little wrong? Now, there's a few really good videos to, to bring up today. One of them is on Religion Inc., which is big business good good video go check it out and and while I'm there I'm going to question was Jesus actually a good motivational speaker did he motivate anybody to actually do something good or did he just sit there and wait till he got crucified so clearly when there's an entity on this planet that knows that hey everything you're doing is dead wrong there's a lot of hate and you'll crucify him. You crucified Jesus because he's seen everything you were doing was dead wrong. Tried pointing it out. What'd you do? Yeah, nailed him to a freaking cross. So he sucked at, at motivating. So it's like, I ain't no better than Jesus. It's like, okay, I suck at trying to point out what you was doing is wrong. <laughs> and it's like, where's the root? Where? To me, I'm kind of like, okay, why did people way back in Jesus' day not want to follow Jesus? Like, if everything he was promising was so good, why is it nobody bought into it? Why is it everybody still wanted to do everything that's wrong? And I'm guessing that Jesus didn't really say why it's so important to do something good. You know, what does it do for you to do something good? Like, what would motivate you to do the right thing? Why is it we're all so motivated to do the wrong thing? Um, <laughs> Jesus gave an example that he didn't die. <laughs> so, and he's here in our image, so that kind of opens up the door that possibly the human body is not meant to die. But yet we all want to die. Why? Probably because there's no reason to live. We don't have that will to live. We don't have that reasoning. We can't see the purpose in living. <laughs> it seems like. Because we all seem to have this death wish. Including me. Um, but here is religion. This video that will show you how large it is. And... They're all profiting big time. They're solving zero problems. They start food banks but don't deal with the core issue as to why people need food in the first place. They're too busy causing the reason why you need food, you know, so that they can make money off of saying there's, a, you know, some people need food. They've uh, stopped, uh, abortion is, is a really, really wrong thing, which has increased our population problem. we got the Bill Gates and Warren Buffett's trying to decrease the global population. And yet nobody's really concerned as to, okay, what was the behavior that created unwanted pregnancies in the first place? I mean, is churches doing anything about rape? Like, 
where does the church focus on the human behavior that we see on this planet that rapes another person? Because they're too busy raping you out of the money so that they can have all of the money and then say, God rewards. <laughs> and yet they say Satan tempts with profit, but you can't even see that your own profit was Satan. You, you, you tend to think that that was God. Um, so it's like if, if you kind of notice the numbers from this video, if every religious person kind of woke up to how evil they actually are, we'd see a massive change. Now, will that piss off every single religious person if I say that? Yeah. And yet they will hate me and, and, and then be in denial of it, but they'll say nothing but hateful judgment words about me, which I'm just doing the same thing that they're doing to me, is they're going to judge me to be wrong, yet when I judge them to be wrong, there's something wrong with that. Um, so it's like, to hate me is like, hate yourself, because you're doing exactly the same thing that I'm doing. I'm only pointing out something that, maybe reflect on it for a bit because I did reflect on every friggin religion I kind of went to all of them when the world was hell and not one of them had any answers but yeah they were giving out coffee and um, they wanted my money which I had none uh, they really were into programming me into following a very evil path which just did nothing for my life whatsoever that was anything good. Um, now, there's another uh, um, video I'll put out there, the greatest hypnotist of them all. Um, this is another video that'll show you that everything that you happen to believe in may not be your own beliefs, but somebody else's beliefs that you're memorized, mesmerized, programmed to believe that's it you know you want to be a good person but you don't know how to be a good person so they got this book that says here follow this book and then you'll be a good person who the hell wrote that book I don't recall Jesus saying here here's the book I go by no Jesus had a direct connection with God and he's in our image you know we can have that same connection with God if we actually knew how to do it but that information is a little suppressed um, you won't find it in the Bibles. The Bibles will tell you everything how not to get connected with God. <laughs> you know, when it says don't listen to, you know, the conversations you have with God, don't listen to it. Listen to the book. And yet let's look at our world, how many people are believing in the book, and can we connect the dots that maybe our world is falling apart because of so many people reading the book and maybe it's a wrong direction. Um, so take a look at that video too on how you're hypnotized. Religion plays a massive role. I was even in one church where they wanted you to repeat what the, the um, priest was saying and you actually had to write it down as they were selling coffee. I mean they did every manipulative brainwashing technique in, in their sermons so that you're really, really programmed to believe whatever some idiot was trying to promote. And back in, in and around that same time when they were doing all of this, they were trying to get me to hate other religious groups. And they were saying that they, the particular religion that I was at said, we were not meant to hang with those people, so we're supposed to reject them at all kinds because they're evil. We need to stay separate and hate all of these other people because of what they believe in. And it's like, wait a minute, I came to you for help and yet all you're doing is trying to get me to hate everybody in the world except for the people in this church who none of them are doing anything good. Like, <laughs> they're all addicted to drugs, oh, caffeine, and not one of them were doing anything good. This one priest was going into some war country, and um, the home that he was invited to go in and have a, a coffee, he was so disgusted with it. It wasn't the royal palace he was used to. 
you know, so all he did was talk about his sermon about how horrible it was for him. But he hung in there and he was doing his godly duty, even though it was so rough for him to look at all that poverty. And he didn't see that he was creating most of that poverty himself. Anyways, um, what was done to us can be reversed. The same techniques that were done to program us to have a lack. You have a lack. You lack love. You lack prosperity. You lack an awareness that you're connected with other good people. You lack the, the ability to even see that there's goodness in everybody, even the evil people. People that you hate, me, has something good in them, but you won't be able to see it because you're so blinded with your hate because you're lacking in alignment with, okay, there's goodness in every single one of us, but can we see it? Um, you're lacking in confidence. You're... Um, the, every aspect of humanity right now has been brainwashed to lack which means it's profitable because now you can go and search for it <laughs> and as long as we attach a product to that searching of it you'll never ever find it so that means you'll always be searching and you'll always be disappointed which means you're always going to be pissed off which means you're always going to be hateful and the world goes around and we wonder why um, What's another video that I've seen? Um, there's another video on um, this native guy is talking about uh, uh, what religious people did to um, the created boarding schools. They took uh, Native American children away from their families and introduced them to alcohol and drugs, and you know, and then these people are in so much pain that we'll criticize them now they're just a excuse my language because I really hate saying these words but we just go around saying oh they're just drunk Indians and and it's like no they are the end result of an insanity going on and that insanity <laughs> right behind it is another religion um, so I'll put that one in there um, and one of the biggest ones that I wanted to talk about is uh, intention because that's what it's all about is intention and it has I have said for many years that intention is what built these pyramids we don't know what actually made these things move and move so fast these rocks and but it's intention I've put a video up there on uh, how to levitate objects we're kind of seeing this like technology shows you who you are what you're capable of you got these really, really brilliant minds that end up seeing a reflection of something that the human body is capable of in their tunnel vision. And with their tunnel vision, they want to make it even better, more focused, more intense. So they build a technology that can do that one little thing that us humans can do. So this one uh, product that's out there, there's actually a game that you can levitate this ball with your mind. It's also... Uh, um, used for wheelchairs is how it got started so that uh, people that can't move can't do anything can actually move things with the thought of their minds now there is a little wire that's attached to being able to move things with your mind but then we also have wires to connect you to the internet but as technology improves, now we've got wireless. <laughs> so it's like we'll be able to levitate things with our minds when we can see our own reflection, our own capabilities. And once we see how that's done, we can actually build pyramids. Now, um, we've been in this cycle, this 2012 phenomenon. Guess what? Everything that we're doing right now is destroying the friggin' planet. You know, with all of your hate, as long as everybody's hating everybody right now, because we all got different opinions, we all see so many different things wrong, so we're going to hate, hate, hate each other. Um, we're not taking personal responsibility for our intentions. We have intentions to do something onto other people, but we don't have intentions for your own life. And... And what does it mean to, to be a good person? We have no clue of that. To be a good person, oh, it means going out and getting stuff. And then when your stuff is, you know, piling up, then you're a good person. Um, building pyramids is not the way to go because it's almost like, yeah, the world's falling apart. We need, 
a pyramid so we can stay safe and as the world falls apart and we're not connecting ourselves to our universe that uh, we're connected with the the wind that blows cut the, the rainforest down you'll change the weather patterns when you see how connected you are with your immediate world well your body and why you get sick there's a cause your behavior I'll continue on another tape